think it's crazy because like with Taurus and Marishka, they basically allow you to just clap a lot of PVE, pretty much every PVE content, right? Granted, there are two nuts in here and a cardio ally attack, but look at this 30 million from Taurus. Taurus in his own right already does a lot of damage, but with Marishka, things change. Things are a little bit better. Things are a lot better. What am I saying? We don't even need an unkillable team with this pay to win uh, strat here. Let's go ahead and hit this nightmare team also. I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about Marishka. Granted, this is kind of long overdue and it's, <laughs> I've been holding off on doing this. I, I can, I just never found um, a good time to do it. I didn't have Marishka before and it always felt as if though the moment had already passed. Today, we're gonna dive into the kit, the build, what I've learned and we're gonna do a little bit of a showcase here so that if any of you guys are lucky enough to pull the mighty Marishka, then you can go ahead and have some sort of guidance, an updated 2024 guide on how to build her. And if you also have Taurus, you know, that's going to be even better. I actually have a guide on how to build Taurus. I'll link that down below in the pinned comment. Today, we're going to focus on Marishka, the unbreakable. I love my wife. Awesome looking champion. Stellar. Stellar blade. Stellar champion. A1. Attacks one enemy, one random ally will team up and join the attack. The ally joining the attack will always use their default skill. If Taurus is on the same team, they will always be the one to join this attack. Every time she attacks, if Taurus is here, boom, he's gonna smack with his A1, which hits pretty damn hard. Her A2 is going to fully restore any decreased max HP and then heal everybody by 40% of her own HP then places a shield and a protected strengthen debuff. By the way, strengthen is an awesome buff to have because it's just the flat out damage mitigation as opposed to increased defense where it increases your damage mitigation based on your total um, defense. Strengthen is just better in my opinion. The value of the shield is going to be 20% of the champion's max HP. So pretty big shield. You're gonna to want to obviously build her with a lot of HP. Book her up, bigger heals, bigger shields, cool down on three turns. A3 removes all debuffs, then fills the turn meter of all allies by 15%. So debuff removal, turn meter fill, and then fills an extra 5% for every debuff removed. Increases that the uh, increases the resistance of all allies by five for each debuff removed, and then grants an extra turn if five or more debuffs were removed. She is going to be moving extremely fast with this move, right? If she does this and you're removing a bunch of debuffs, then everybody's going to get a boost to their, uh, what do you call it, boost to their turn meters. And if she removes at least five, then, you know, you're getting extra resistance and then taking an extra turn, being able to do other things. If she dies, she's going to revive everybody with half HP and 75% turn meter and then places block damage. Uh, whenever somebody tries to place a bomb, poison, or HP burn debuff on them. So, just overall great support champion. I, like, she's just absolutely insane. And you know what? The Ukrainians need to be insane because of... I mean, I'm just not going to dive into it, but there's a reason why Polarium specifically made their champion uh, dressed, dressed up in their own uh, cultural uniform uh, uh what do you call it it's not you know traditional cultural get up speed all battles 24 percent. all battles is always good especially if you're looking at something like siege where for some reason even though it's an arena type content it doesn't apply there ward of the fallen so that we can get some uh extra whatever this does damage reduction 20 percent, 30 percent here we have a five star blessing on her so if we're going to be looking at how we want to build her, we want to make sure that she is going to survive and be fast, right? I opted to build her out in stone skin and regen, or uh, what do you call it? Uh, resilience. So stone skin so that she gets a one turn of stone skin at the start. In case we take her to PVP, we want to make sure that she survives and is able to do a cleanse on everybody, right? So she gets extra HP, resistance, defense. You could go six pieces or even more if you wanted to, but you know, with the way that the gear is, this is just as best as we can get her. So far, 
for, for right now, all right? Here are the specific pieces, uh, as soon as this goes away, here are the specific pieces of gear. If you want to look, these are uh, basically it. Looking for speed and survivability, HP, defense, and resistance. I want to make sure she's not receiving any debuffs. Defense, HP, speed where you can get it, and then resistance. Pretty good. As always, do not blindly copy masteries, but go ahead and blindly copy masteries, taking unshakable extra resistance and lasting gifts on uh, the T5 masteries. So, now that we know how she operates, let's go ahead and try her out in some areas. Let's start off by doing live arena. God damn it, does this even count? It doesn't count, let's leave. Oh my god, he banned Marishka again. Or I guess another person banned Marishka. See, she's so powerful, <laughs> nobody wants to deal with Marishka. She's so annoying to deal with, having to... And, and the worst thing is when you're pairing her with another reviver, right? Because if Marishka dies, you have a reviver revive Marishka. It, it just keeps going back and forth. It's this endless cycle that unless you have a block, block, um, a block revive champion like Rodos, it just it is what it is. Dear, see they always ban Marishka. They already know. All right, so we finally have a live arena Marishka showcase. Let's go ahead and get it in. Oftentimes, because we want to try to outspeed the other team, we're gonna go with the turn meter boost as well as. Um, the debuff removal because that's just a really good thing to have especially early on because sometimes you do get out sped and you're going to want to deal with them i don't want to kill anybody yet so we're just going to hit the a1 now taurus is here and we could one shot everybody but i don't want to do that quite yet so let's just hit you so we can showcase the rest of marishka Come on, dude. There you go. You need me to go over there and hold your hand while uh, we do this fight? There you go. No, 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 no. Okay. I was worried Hefrak was going to kill everybody. Perfect. Okay, this was perfect because Ninja tried to place the HP burn. Marishka's passive puts up the block debuff also good for something like Bommel, right so here marishka you can see that taurus has max hp uh destroyed if we put this on we're gonna restore some of that as well it's not okay well so this is not the best play oh look at that place to uh to do it but let's go ahead and try a regular arena maybe i could get a little bit of work in for you guys so let's go oh we don't want to go eh, let's just do it let's just do it okay so let's aim down on narcis get that king out of here got the stun on him all right so anytime marishka attacks with her a1 taurus joins in when he's on the same team she actually pairs very well with taurus because he destroys his own max hp whenever he attacks or gets hit so her being able to restore, that's what I was trying to say earlier, her being able to restore Mac, destroyed max HP is pretty huge. Let's try to remove some buffs, steal stone skin, and boom. Not enough buffs to do enough damage. Let's get this in. Boom. And this is cool because whenever they're together, he's always going to counterattack with his A2, which does a lot of damage. And then we're going to heal. We're going to restore destroyed max HP. Pogger's champion. Absolutely freaking insane, dude. Look at this. Protected strength in. Your team is just going to be staying alive for a really long time. Look at that. Basically nothing. Harima wasn't able to do much. Let's get rid of Duchess. Let's boost turn meter. Let's get rid of Narcis. Or try to at least. Nice, very nice. Hit Staltus, these defense based champions. Heal, strengthen. Look at that, it's a big heal. Remove buffs. Counter attack. If somebody hits Marishka, counter attack. It's a death sentence, unless you're, I don't know, somebody like Narcisse. Look at that. So obviously in PvP, she's huge. This is why if you were in, if you were trying to push plat, I don't know if it's the same case anymore, 
but if you're trying to push plat i mean look at this today now granted we're two days outside of reset it doesn't matter if you touch reset like i see this all the time and i'm not you know i'm not gonna dive too much into it but i always see people say things like oh look i'm in plat i, I finally reached plat right after reset i'm like dude it it's nothing to reach plat it only matters if you're able to stay during reset which nine times out of ten you don't because it's hard but if you can see right here marishka and taurus here at the top we have another taurus and marishka another taurus and marishka another top plus four taurus and marishka here that's crazy with six star blessings that's insane ipr of course taurus marishka uh, taurus marichka you say marichka or marishka another, another taurus Mary Taurus, Mary Taurus, Mary Taurus, like owns PvP, right? But outside of PvP, you can also see how they do together in something like the Iron Twins. Normally, you need like a specific comp to go ahead and try to take down the Iron Twins. Um, like I run the Emic Unkillable team on my main account, but because we have Taurus and Marishka here on this account, you see Taurus is, is counter-attacking and then joining in the attack every single time. We don't really have to worry about that. Marishka is going to be able to keep everybody alive. Allowing Nuts to do what they need to do. And this is how you raw dog the Iron Twins. Completely free to play. Free to pay. So look at that. Uh, new best time. Uh, for this one, if anybody's struggling with Odin... I have a few videos so far. Um, I intend to put out a little bit more as I find new teams, but I'll dive into a little bit how this works. Uh, but as you can see, like anytime Mary is hit, Taurus is going to counterattack, and you want to make sure you're getting rid of the adds. There it is. Look at that. Debuff cleanse, extra turn. We got more survivability out of her every time she attacks, he attacks. It's insane. We have block buffs coming from Lydia. But yeah, when it comes to Odin, you just want to worry about getting rid of the adds first. And then going ham. But uh, are any of you guys even farming the pinpoint gear? I haven't really checked to see if I, I got any good pinpoint gear yet. Apparently there's going to be a new event coming for this specific dungeon and then here you can see that Taurus and Marishka do very well especially in something like Nightmare um this is the total stats for this week I ended this fight early because I just felt like not being on my phone anymore so I ended the fight there last week this was the total that I did on Nightmare using Taurus and Marishka